All right, everyone. So as always, we have some more spoilers for the upcoming chapter of the Dragon Ball Super Manga. And before we get into it, as always, guys, I have to warn you that if you do not want to be spoiled in any way, shape or form for the upcoming chapter of the Dragon Ball Super Manga, this is not going to be the video for you. Please click off the video if you want to go into this chapter blind, because we have some very, very interesting bit of information when it comes to what happens in this chapter. So if you do not want to be spoiled, again, here is your chance to click off the video. If you're still here, then I'm gonna assume you are just okay with spoilers or maybe you've already read them and you wanna hear someone else's opinion on them. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the spoilers. Now, some of them are coming to us courtesy of DBS Hype as always. Uh, now, these are just bullet points. We don't have the... Um, a full chapter summary or maybe he did post them and i just i didn't see them yet but i think this is going to be enough because we get the general idea of what happens in the actual chapter and of course i'm going to be doing an actual review when the chapter officially is released i think in about three days time so according to dbs hype so apparently what happens is that gas he's the one who shot monaito okay a lot of people i've seen online theorized that it was frieza who shot monaito but i didn't think it was frieza so it turns out it was gas so gas was not out just yet he still had at least some energy left or he's still alive and he was the one who shot monaito and then we see ultra ego vegeta and ui goku versus gas one last time and gas apparently wins uh <laughs> i mean uh, <sighs> Okay, uh, I mean, we th I guess we thought the fight was over. Apparently, it's not. Um, all right, uh, you know what? This chapter or this arc has just been continuously just repeating the fight between Gas and everyone else all this time. So you know what? Why not? Why not one last time? <laughs> Uh, but Frieza does arrive. So Frieza does indeed show up. A lot of people who theorized that Frieza was going to show up. You were right. I didn't think it was going to happen. I thought that, you know, it was way too late in the game. Uh, apparently, this is the last chapter before the next arc begins. I didn't think that they were going to introduce him now. Um, but, but okay, uh, Frieza's here. Apparently, he's the one who kills Gas. And if I'm being honest, I don't, I don't really like that. I don't like the fact that Frieza just shows up, you know, literally right at the end of the chapter and then just kills gas as opposed to granola or goku and vegeta have been fighting him all this time and just apparently don't do it uh all right whatever uh so he tears him apart and then kills him and then frieza this is one of the big ones again if you if you're still here i, I already warned you there were going to be spoilers and some pretty big spoilers apparently frieza has a new transformation uh black frieza <laughs> sure why not <laughs> why not all right fine uh black freeze attacks yui vegeta and ui goku punches both in the stomach they're both down okay uh, freeze also blasted off and killed elec after killing gas oh yeah um yeah i i don't like this either i i really don't like this uh the fact that granola isn't the one who killed elec i feel like that is I, I'm not a fan of that. Like, that is just... I, I don't know why they chose to do this. I mean, I feel like they set everything up for Granola to be the one to kill him because, especially after they reveal that Elec is the one who killed Granola's mom. I mean, I know Granola said he doesn't want revenge or anything, but it's like, I feel like Elec should have been an exception. You know what I mean? Like, he, again, he's the one who kind of orchestrated all of this. He's the one who manipulated his siblings into doing all of this. And I just, I feel like he, sh Granola should have been the one, the one to kill him. I don't like this. I don't like the fact that Frieza was the one who killed him. Especially after introducing him literally in apparently what seems to be the very last chapter of the arc. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so Frieza then just leaves. Uh, apparently he, apparently he's now stronger than Vegeta and Goku, even in UI and UE, which again, I, I don't know if I like that. I mean, <sighs> All right, wh whatever. Um, you know, again, at this point, it's like I'm I'm done trying to argue with whatever happens in this arc. It's like, all right, whatever, fine, sure. Uh, but he doesn't kill them. He has them on the ropes. He doesn't kill them for some reason. Just gets rid of them. All right, again, whatever. Uh, f he just leaves, and then Granola heals Monaito. So Monaito doesn't even die. So that big cliffhanger 
uh, of the um, uh, the draft pages that got uh, released. He doesn't die. He's healed somehow. Um, all right. Again, it's like I, I can already tell I'm really not going to like this chapter. So who knows? Maybe I'll feel differently when we when we read the whole thing and, you know, we get some more context. But let's go over to DBS Chronicles, who did translate some images that got released, but those images are not here. And uh, I guess they uh, they were deleted to try and, you know, stay safe from being taken down by uh, by copyright. So according to DBS Chronicles, and we're only going to read some of them, just the more important ones, um, you know, the, the ones that are, I feel like, are the most interesting. I'm not going to go over everything. So here he says, uh, Frieza apparently says, I knew about your intentions 40 years ago. I guess he's talking about Alec. Uh, but I kept quiet. For example, you are the weakest among your heater siblings. Gas had be uh, Vegeta says, Gas had become the number one warrior in this universe. He must be beyond your power too. And then Frieza responds with, this universe, I see I was in another realm up until now. Maybe that's why I didn't exist in this universe. So apparently Frieza was somewhere else. That's why the wish didn't really affect him. So Gas became stronger than Goku and Vegeta and Granola, but Frieza technically doesn't count because Frieza wasn't even in this universe. <clears throat> but, I mean, if he was stronger than Goku and Vegeta, he should definitely be stronger than, uh, you know... Frieza, which even if he wasn't in this universe, if he's stronger than people who are stronger than him, then he, it should st technically still count. But again, whatever. Like I'm not gonna. I, I'm done trying to argue anything that happens in this arc. I just, I really just wanted to end and just move on. I mean, we know this whole Frieza being stronger than them is not gonna last anyway. So whatever. No, no, no use in getting all, uh, you know, bent out of shape because of it. And then Frieza says, I can't keep losing you two Saiyans forever, can I? I needed a power-up as well, a power-up, and then transforms into, uh, you know, the whole Black Frieza thing. So that's when he proceeds to attack them and just um, uh, take him down. Which, again, doesn't really make a lot of sense because in the Broly movie, he said he wasn't going to try to catch up to them in terms of power because they always keep overtaking him when it comes to power. And it's like, uh, all right, whatever. Again, whatever. Uh, Goku says, uh, and this is the last one we'll, we'll uh, discuss before ending the video. Uh, Goku says, hey, Whis, the greatest warrior in the universe that the Oracle Fish talked about was in Frieza. Probably Whis replies positively. Goku says, seriously, then I get better, better get some more training. Uh, and apparently that's, that's it. So the greatest warrior in the universe, the, the, the one that has been teased since the beginning of the arc, since the arc was even announced, uh, the greatest warrior in the universe will soon be born. And apparently it wasn't Granola, it wasn't Gas, it wasn't even Goku or Vegeta, it was Frieza. Uh, again, really, really anticlimactic. I mean, I, you know, I haven't been liking this arc so far, and I just, yeah, if this is how it ends, I mean... All right, whatever. Again, as long as it ends, just just let it end. I, I I'm ready to move on from this. I'm I'm so tired of the granola, this the survivor, greatest warrior in the universe, whatever. I'm I'm so tired of all of it. I just want to move on to the next one. We should have already moved on from this a long time ago, but whatever. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about everything that was revealed to us uh, in this chapter? Uh, did you like it? Did you hate it? Or are you like me where it's like, you know what? I don't care anymore. I just want to move on to the next arc. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. And while you're here, if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy what I do here on this channel, please leave a like, share this video out there, hit the subscribe button if you haven't, ring the bell for notifications, and I hope I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.